Hi, in this tutorial we will start modeling the car. This is the side view, um, this is the front view, top view and the back view. Just remember that you know not all the views would be matching so you might be having misalignment in, in the with the front view and the uh, side view while modeling. I'll, I'll demonstra demonstrate to you the same thing uh, during the process of modeling. So let's go into the top view. I generally start from the top view. Uh, I create a small plane, place it somewhere here and uh, pull the vertex of that up to this point. This one I try to bring here and then this one somewhere here. like this now why this is because I have a reference picture and I know that more or less one plane runs which is more or less at the same height or you can say is um, coplanar lines the surface everything is running horizontal up to this point after which it falls the surface drops and then again continues thereafter so that is why I stretched it here. Now what we will do is we will check in the side view. It's somewhere here so we have to lift it up. And these points we have to raise up. Yeah. Now if you check in the front view it is a mismatch. But this is going to happen uh, because um, the front view or the front blueprint is not accurate. Uh, I would say sizing is not correct. So we'll we'll use the front blueprint, but we will not use it for uh, modeling because if the top view and the side view are matching, then I I think we should just leave it there. So what we'll do is now um, in the side view we are seeing that it is not touching the surface so what we'll do is we'll cut it at some point as in create loop okay you see that the this part is on this edge same way at a strong curvature we'll create again a loop cut take it and we'll make sure that this goes up okay this one also will go up a little bit this you can bring well forward okay this one you can bring same way we have to create a loop cut here Where is it this one also this yeah ok go in the top view I know this is a little bit out but then uh, we have to settle down um, blueprint might again not be aligning very well with the side view this this Chrysler blueprint blueprint is not accurate so we'll have misalignment but we have to manage now we'll create a loop cut here so that we can make it well curved save it now we extend this a little bit up to this edge and then we have to pull it down because this edge as per reference you see extends up to this point and then drops and then again extends so we press E extrude it Also like 
like this and then like this. Okay. In the side view, so what we do is sorry. So what we do is select all the vertices and go in the side view and because they're supposed to be uh, on this edge we pull them down slightly now that one is okay these three have to come down so what we do is deselect these To deselect you press the B key and uh, hold the middle mouse and select the vertices that you want to deselect. Okay. I pressed B key, middle mouse and select it. This one got deselected. Bring it down. And this one will go down there. Now we have to correct the geometry here because the curve should run such that this edge is touched. So we create a loop somewhat here. Select this, take it up like this. This we can. Now, again we select this, press E, extrude it till this point and what we can do is we can press S, X and 0 so it becomes straight and pull it and then start aligning the points. Now we have to take some points little back like this one here this one also a little bit this one also a little bit and these also Okay. Now we go in the side view and we check out that everything is okay. This has to go a little up. This has to go a little up. This one has to go a little forward. This one has to come down on this edge. This one has to come down on this edge. Okay, so now we can just quickly see our hood. This is the hood. It's an ortho mode, so we go into the um, perspective mode. We can choose a modifier subsurf so that we make it smooth. Also, um, this is half hood, so we make it complete by mirroring the hood. So click on this vertex, shift select, cursor to select it, cursor comes here. Press tab, go into the object mode, control, shift, alt, C, choose origin to 3D cursor. 3D cursor comes here. I choose uh, mirror modifier. Now you see this uh, issue that's because the subsurf modifier is applied before the mirror. So we switch, we, we take the 
mirror modifier above subsurf that gets corrected. Save it. Now, what we see is that the actual hood is having little sharp bends, whereas this one isn't having. So what we do is we create loops and take it close to the surface like this. Same way from here. Bring it. Don't touch it, but just bring it close. Touching it completely would make it a sharp edge, and we don't want, we don't want that. Okay. Now we increase the. So we make it three. Subserve and press T to bring this palette. Click smooth. So your hood is ready. In the next tutorial we would make the fender side basically and then the rest of the body.